system set up to support the zero tolerance policy is $775 per child per night. That's $5,425 a week to store children like cattle. We're paying these exorbitant fees to private prison mills who are turning a profit on the misery of families who are fleeing persecution. The justification that I hear for this policy of persecution is rooted in the popular law and order defense. Well, they're breaking the law. Or why don't they come here legally? It makes me cringe that these excuses are actually enough in the minds of some Americans to justify keeping kids and adults for that matter terrified in cages with lights on all night and no information about when they might be released. And of course, the flaw in the logic is that for all practical purposes, the legal status of an undocumented person who has committed no other crime or offense in the United States is a misdemeanor, not a felony, that should be met with infinite prison imprisonment and without proper oversight or due process. And as for coming here legally, the Trump administration keeps moving the goalposts on these people at the border so that those who arrive at ports of entry claiming asylum are no longer accepted or processed. They have to wait and they don't know how long. So it's not so much law and order at this point as a policy of incompetence and cruelty. Today is the day that ICE is supposed to start its roundup of 2,000 migrant families from 10 states. Okay. Uh, whether these undocumented people are captured today or not, they're going to be forced out of their lives and they're going to be forced into a place of constant fear, terrorized for no good reason by our government in our name. Uh, on Thursday, I saw a quote from Elizabeth Warren who was touring in New Hampshire and the quote goes like this, no great country locks up children, she said. No great country separates children from their families. No great country lets profiteers make money off locking up desperate people. It's getting worse, end quote. Just have a little bit more. Um, we're a nation of laws, but we are also a great nation because we stood up to be counted when the world turned ugly to persecute its most vulnerable citizens for evil or profit or both. We used to be the good guy. Do we have an immigration problem on our southern border that requires comprehensive reforms? We do. But will zero tolerance policies and rampant cruelty done in America's name be the solution to that problem? No Absolutely not. No way! We must stand up now because when we talk about hardworking families as if they are animals, we are setting the stage for unspeakable atrocity. We have seen this before, and most of us here remember history. And we have to make sure that we will not allow this on our watch. We are better than this, and we have to make that known now in this time of choosing. There is no question that America is great. The question that is pending is whether we will stay that way. Thank you all for being here today and for standing up against bullies, profiteers, and charlatans who are taking over our government in DC. Our voices, our values, our vigilance, and our votes is what we need the most now. Stay strong. Thank you.